name's Steve Cost. I'm a Navy veteran, and I served in the United States Navy Seabees, a combat battalion. Uh, even though I was trained to be on a ship, I wound up in a combat battalion and doing uh, land-based operations, which put me in some difficult situations sometimes. And uh, one of the things about what I've been through is that it had an effect on my mind and it um, kind of changed the way that I perceive things and the way that I interact with the world around me. Um, I had a lot of nightmares. I had a lot of uh, difficult times in my life. And I really didn't have anything that I could use to fill that void and to address that problem until I started playing drums. And I played drums uh, for a few years. I started a band and then uh, I also, at night when I couldn't play drums with my friends, I would actually take apart machinery, sewing machines and typewriters and calculators, any mechanical machinery that I could get my hands on. I would take it apart just to see how it worked, but I would also use those parts and create little robots or uh, little animals, you know, just stack them together so that I could see them. And I kept these little treasures that I made around my house, and my wife really liked having them, my daughter really liked watching them and uh, seeing them, and I had friends who encouraged me to maybe make something for them. And, share it so I started making art and sharing it on social media and I found really quickly that there's not a lot of people that can do the kind of work that I can do. I like to take components and use them in a, a sculpture installation and that way the viewer is still able to see the wrenches, the socket wrenches, the teaspoons, egg beater, whatever you put into this thing they can identify it still. So I've had uh, just such an enjoyable experience using household items, discarded metals to create the kind of work that I do. And I'm very excited to be here sharing it with you in Washington, D.C. at the Library of Congress. It's very special to me. I'd like to take a moment and thank uh, the Veterans Administration, number one, for helping me to address the issues that I've had and uh, providing uh, clinics and outreach services for veterans like myself. Number two, I'd like to thank the people that I served with and thank them for helping me become the person that I am today. But uh, I'm really excited to be part of Uniting Us. It's a veteran artist organization sharing the healing power of art and the positive energy that comes with creating instead of uh, destroying or drinking or drugs or anything else to deal with the issues that we're all facing after our time in service. Uh, there's so many people that reached out to me when I started sharing about my artwork and the effect that it's had on my life. So many of the people, brothers and sisters that I served with it asked, how did you get into that? And um, I don't want any other veteran or any other person in this world to go through what I got to go through in order to reach what I have accomplished, but uh, it's been a very uh, rewarding experience. And I think that because of something bad that happened in my life, I found an opportunity to create something good from uh, the effects of what I was going through. And I really did find a viable outlet in artwork uh, to express myself and to share with other veterans and inspire other veterans to use that power to create. My name's Steve Cost. I'm a metal sculptor and uh, I create a lot of uh, metal sculptures out of reclaimed materials, but I'm also a musician. I learned the hard way how to play drums on my own, uh, studying videos and books and things from the, that I would borrow from the library, but I always had this energy inside of me that I needed to get out, and I didn't know that I actually was a drummer at heart. So I started playing drums about 
15 years ago. Uh, and I was 34 years old. I had a neighbor that had a drum set and let me sit and play with him. And uh, as soon as I put the sticks in my hand, I realized that they were like alphabet letters that I could use to create sentences and words. And the power of music, healing, artwork uh, has just been incredible in my life. And uh, when I'm not creating metal sculpture or working my day job, I'm sitting behind these drums and creating music because it is like something in my soul that I have to get out. I've got to get that energy out and play what I can play and uh, share that with other people. So I'd like to do a little quick thing on the drums right here. I'm a huge John Bonham fan, Led Zeppelin, uh, Buddy Rich, all sorts of the old drummers uh, that that were uh, inspirational to us uh, as people growing up during our era. And uh, I just love playing drums, man. So let me show you something here. <laughs> relaxing thing that I could do right now. <laughs> I just love coming out here and working on my problems on the drums, expressing myself through music, communicating with other drummers and other musicians when I get a chance to play with them. There's a real healing power that can be found in music and I'm glad that I tapped into it and I figured out a way to help heal myself 